and I'm not going to talk a ton about their care right now just because the video will get way way too long and it'll probably already have to be two parts but um, for now I'm just talking about the different varieties and I haven't been able to find any good you know reliable info on any care differences like actual info from my experience um, I can tell you I have had a couple of these now which I didn't know at the time I thought that they were all the same and I just had some punies and some good ones. <laughs> um, uh, but I've had a few of these and whenever I've had them, they always like more water. Um, not a lot. Again, they're succulent and they're a maseem, so they're not, they're, they're very much on the drier side, especially in the winter. I'm going into care now. Ah, but, um, but these guys wilt and wither a lot faster than these probably just because they're a lot smaller and these guys just have a lot more reserves. Um, oh, oh, the, um, the other variety that looks really similar that they're debating is Frithia pulchera. And um, I found mixed information on this also. Some sources say that you can tell the difference because these guys have yellow, either one of these have yellow or white flowers. Um, the, the Fenestraria varieties here either have yellow or white flowers and the Frithia pulchera has pink flowers but then other sources say that these guys and any of the Fenestraria um, family can have pink flowers also so I I really can't tell you because I haven't had these guys bloom yet I'm hoping um, they're really having a growth spurt and I'm hoping they're going to start popping out flowers. I think it's pretty, pretty likely because they're very happy. Um, and when that happens, I will let you guys know what color each of the blooms are. But just because mine, you know, are certain colors doesn't mean that others couldn't be different. So I can't say for sure if that would be a way to tell. But the Frithia Pultura, they look really similar to these guys. In fact, I've debated if these ones are the true uh, baby toes and these ones are Frithia, but I really don't think so. These guys, as far as the photos, uh, the photos that I've been able to find, uh, these guys look like they're just um, a slightly different variety. And I am not positive yet other because there's so few photos online um, that that list specific details you know they'll be like oh it's baby toes and that could mean any of about three different varieties and so it's it's difficult for me when I care about the <laughs> all of these weird names and info because it's really hard to find concrete information about them probably because not very many people care <laughs> But um, it's interesting nonetheless. And um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't want to go into a ton of, a ton of care. But I suspect, again, this is this is not for sure. But I suspect that these larger varieties um, are the Raupalophyllum, and that the smaller the smaller ones here are probably the Orante Orantiaca. I'm, I'm getting tongue tied here, um, but that's just my guess. Um, I, I there there was there was pictures of the Orantiaca, which is what I think these are that looked very very similar that were a lot smaller, and I have never seen pictures that were labeled um, the Oh, I'm sorry, you guys, my brain, I, I'm spitting these names out and now they're getting all jumbled in my head. The, the, the Raupalophylla, um, I have never seen photos that were clearly labeled at, that look like this. However, some of the Orantiaca photos look a lot more like these. Now, are they, is that because they were just mislabeled online or is that because they're, that they can be either? I'm not positive. But what I can say is there are at least three varieties that look extremely similar to baby toes. And there are two, um, there's the main species and a subspecies within that family um, for sure. And so if some of your plants look 
kind of puny and sad and you can just never get them to be this fat happiness, it may be because they are a different variety and you may be doing nothing wrong. Um, so anyways, I hope that helps someone who is frustrated with these guys and thinking that they just can't get them to be happy, but these guys are actually very happy. They're just never going to look like their cousins here. And it took me, I don't even know, a year to figure that out, uh, maybe longer. And um, because I just, I kept thinking, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why won't you behave and get fat and happy? Um, but they're just supposed to be skinny. Alrighty. Um, wow. 10 minutes ranting about baby toes. I, I keep saying I'm going to get more short winded, but sorry, you guys, I am just the chatty Kathy here. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I will talk to you soon and happy growing.